Shalom. Call Halimla Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Kwankadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh. In the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad and double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, her idols are confounded. So with the teaching and preaching of the word, it begins to break the spell. The curse is slowly being broken. Jake is waking up and the blinders or the veil of darkness is being lifted up. So this man's high level sorcery and witchcraft does not have the same tremendous effect that it has that it has had over the ages. <clears throat> so now that the word is being taught, it is a consuming fire that is breaking down the strength of these idols. So these idols of the nations cause the Israelites to go off. So this is enchantment at a high level. So now the Lord is moving the chess pieces around, moving the nations or controlling the minds of the kings, ushering in Armageddon or the Third World War. I came across this article by the beloved brother, Jazak Ban Yahawada. It says, North Korean missile capable of striking the daughter of Babylon most likely a result of cooperation with Russia, says a think tank. So the word activates Bible prophecy and it causes events to take place. The angels begin to move and work on the minds of these kings of the other nations. As a matter of fact, let's go here first. <clears throat> Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Let's look up this word, hand. <clears throat> so the Lord works on the minds of these national leaders. Let's look up this word hand. Yad comes from the Hebrew Strong's H 3027. Yad. Yad. So it means custody, order, strength. So it reverts back to power. See, strength. So the Lord has the left and right sides under his control, the evil and the good. So he is controlling both sides. And now that his word is going out, Bible prophecy is moving forward. Let's go to Jeremiah 50 and 1. <clears throat> The word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Baal is confounded. Merdok is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. Now, this is literally going to happen, yes, by fire, because that's in our law. 
to burn the graven images and the altar with fire. America is an altar. We can read about that in Isaiah 34, Basra, or Idumia. But the key takeaway here is her idols are confounded. So the trance that the Israelites have been in, along with the other nations, is connected to high-level sorcery and witchcraft. These idols, even on your dollar bill, your dollar is a talisman, a charm connected to witchcraft. So the idols are losing their magical effect on our minds. Even the food that we eat, the ingredients, many of the ingredients connect back to ancient sorcery and witchcraft. Especially these long names we can't even pronounce. But the key point is her idols are confounded because the word is going forth, which heals us. Matter of fact, let's go here. Let's go to Psalms 103. So our mind is being released from these spiritual chains. Why you think Yahweh Shai said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Let's read this. <clears throat> Psalms 103, verse, it's got to go up to one. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who heal all thy diseases. So this mental anguish, anxiety, rage, fear, anger, this delusional mindset, masculine women, feminine men, is being broken. These are sicknesses. Remember Isaiah, one, well, we'll go, ahead, we'll go ahead and get it. Let's read this again. Psalms 103, verse 3. Who, for, <coughs> who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. So we're being healed by the teaching and preaching of the word. Go to Isaiah 1. Isaiah 1, verse 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. A sinful nation, a people, laden with iniquity, a sea of evildoers. Children that are corruptors, that have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart is faint. So this entire system, the entire social construct is built on magic and witchcraft. Matter of fact, I remember years ago looking at videos on the construction site of Washington, D.C. Even the Washington Monument or the Egyptian obelisk is a magical symbol. And it's built on a... Look at the Pentagon. The pentagram or pentagon is one of the most powerful magical symbols in black magic and witchcraft. Look it up. The pentagram, which they built the pentagon. These are magical symbols of enchantment. 
So when we read Jeremiah 50 and 2, declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard and publish, conceal not. Babylon is broken, Baal is confounded, Merodach is broken in pieces, her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces. So the magical effects are diminishing. The Egyptian obelisk or Washington Monument, the false image of the Messiah, that's the big one, Jebus. Jebus cross, remember that one? The golden retriever. So these idols or these charms, even the dollar, which is a talisman, a magical charm, is losing its power and potency. So Murdoch is an ancient Babylonian androgynous deity, male and female which is also connected to the Baphomet. You can look this up on your own. But these idols are designed to work on our mind for control. Now it's miniaturized and they see it or might be. Let's go here to Deuteronomy 7. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 22. And the Lord thy God will put out those nations before thee by little and little. Thou mayest not consume them at once, lest the beasts of the field increase upon thee. But the Lord thy God shall deliver them unto thee and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction until they be destroyed. So this is coming. <laughs> Armageddon, Hot Magadwan, Mountain of Troops, where these nations are going to be destroyed, rendered combat ineffective. Let's go to verse 25. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Let's read that again. So notice Every nation that is built up, their governmental structure has a what? A priesthood, a left and right side to it as well. Black magic, white magic. Look this up. You got the black pope and the opposite of that. <clears throat> that works on both sides. There's a pope that's called the black pope pope that wears all black and then the one that most people are used to seeing is the one that wears all white these men are high level warlocks let's go to verse 25 the graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is in them nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. So the word is the fire that is consuming the system built on high-level sorcery, witchcraft, and black magic. See, let's go here. Jeremiah 23 and 29. Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? So the word is consuming this social construct. Babylon, the beast, this entire business enterprise that's built up is slowly being dismantled. And it's literally going to be a sacrificial burnt offering and altar here in America. Basra, Idumia. So it all starts with prophesying. Let's close out here in Ezekiel 20. 
the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 46. Son of man, set thy face toward the south, and drop thy word toward the south, and prophesy against the forest of the south field. Prophesy to Israel. Remember, everything starts with Bible prophecy. <clears throat> Ezekiel 20, verse 47, and say to the forest of the south, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, behold, I will kindle a fire in thee, and it shall devour every green tree in thee. Every dry tree, the flaming flame shall not be quenched, and all faces from the south to the north shall be burned therein. So the iniquity within us, the idolatry within us is going to be diminished. The Lord is going to turn up full-fledged his holy spiritual word within our vessel. We're going to be changed and placed back in a promised land. So his word is a consuming fire. The most high is a consuming fire. Ezekiel 20, verse 48. And all flesh shall see that I, the Lord, have kindled it. It shall not be quenched. Men said I, ah, Lord, power. They say of me, doth he not speak parables? So the Israelites are going to return to our old estate, change, becoming new internal beings, spiritual flames of fire, because the Lord's word is going to be placed in our inward parts. Let's get one more. Deuteronomy 12, verse 1. These are the statutes and judgments which he shall observe to do in the land, which the Lord God of thy fathers giveth thee to possess it all the days that ye live upon the earth. He shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods upon the high mountains and upon the hills and under every green tree. See, so that dark iniquity that's within us, gross abominations is being purged out with the preaching and hearing of the word being sprinkled with the cleanser, which is the spiritual doctrine. And literally, these idols are going to be destroyed by fire. Verse 3 and ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire, and ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. Ye shall not do so unto the Lord your God. So idolatry is being broken. Babylon is being broken. Her enchantment is being broken and she's going to be rendered combat ineffective at the judgment of the Lord. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Kadash, Barak Thumb. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwame Yashorella and the Bad Babal. We got next. Lord willing. Shalom.